Alright guys, here's a little update on the trailer and a few other little things I've been doing around here. Uh, I got one of Tough Dog stickers on there. Put, I put on the other ones. Uh, there's Ray's. Uh, uh, Tough Dog sent me, I think he sent, or uh, Steiny sent me two of these, I think. But I can only find one Tough Dog, so um, I'll have to hit you up and see if we can find another one. So I see if you got any more of these so I can put one on the other side. Uh, she's getting decorated. Still got a lot back here. Also what I did is I took off these shocks right here that were on Cody's go-kart and I replaced them. What's on there now are the front shocks that were on the full screen machine. These shocks are a little bit more new and I adjusted them so they're at the highest strength level because you can adjust these. And when they're at the highest strength, they seem to be pretty decent. They seem to work pretty well. Still reach the bottom out portion of them. But as a whole, they pretty much work pretty good. Now there's not much more news on the house. We're uh just kind of in limbo right now we're just kind of waiting for the bank to get out there and the appraiser to get out there and appraise the property but I have started packing stuff up and putting them in boxes and everything next thing I got to start working on is all this crap on the table oh my god what a mess what a mess what a mess I don't think I've ever shown you guys that thing before that radio yeah, that's pretty interesting. When I start, uh, when we start moving all this stuff out and everything, I'll show you that radio. That's that's pretty neat. But like I said before, if you guys want some of your stickers uh, advertising your YouTube channel up on the on the trailer, then just contact Steiny and uh, he'll make some stickers out for you, and then have them. Then he'll mass ship them to me, and then I'll put them up on the trailer. It's been pretty nice out today. It is the weekend and nothing's open, so you can't really get anything done. Oh, I want to show you guys something. My neighbor, his boss, decided to take an air compressor and bolt it to the side of his truck. See that? See how high that is up there? I don't know if that's a very good idea. What do you guys think? It's facing that direction. You get grit and water and stuff flying into the exhaust. Rocks and stuff might fly up and hit the uh, plastic housing of the carburetor. I don't know if that's a very good idea. I don't know about that one. It's a nice truck, but mounting the air compressor up that high, I don't know if that's a very good idea. Oh, another thing is, is <clears throat> I've been firing up a lot of the live video chat stuff to start hangouts and for some reason it keeps getting posted on YouTube so you guys are coming across a lot of uh, of these hangouts that I'm starting but they never go public and I don't understand how to set up this set up the settings to the point to where nobody's notified uh, when I get into Google Plus and I start up a hangout for some of the other guys that you know I hang out with and stuff it automatically starts posting it to YouTube well I never I never put it public or nothing like that. It's just a simple hangout. And I don't understand why in the hell it's going out to all my subscribers. So I do apologize for that, guys. Because I know a lot of you are getting, you know, hey, T-Man's going live, but, you know, it never starts. I, 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 I don't know how to turn that off so that way it doesn't go out to all my subscribers. It's, I don't know. So I do apologize for that. I can't figure out how to turn that dang setting off so you all ain't notified when I'm on some you know Google Plus hangout with you know five or six people it's like the moment I started up in Google Plus it, it automatically goes out to all my subscribers and it shouldn't be doing that and I don't start it from inside YouTube you know I'm not in my YouTube account and then I start a hangout I don't do that I go right to Google Plus 
and then start a hangout on Google Plus and then it automatically gets sent over to YouTube and goes, you know, it gets sent out to all my subscribers and I don't know how to turn that dang setting off. So I'm going in through Google Plus and it's automatically jumping over to YouTube and then posting it out to everybody. Hey, T-Man's going live uh, with a live Google Plus hangout. Well, no, I'm not. I'm just actually firing it up just to talk with a bunch of other people but for some reason, it's it's automatically getting sent out to all my subscribers. So I apologize for that, guys. I don't I don't I can't I don't know how to change that setting in Google Plus so it doesn't go to YouTube. But anyways, guys, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and all my new viewers. I do apologize. I'm not really doing any build videos now or anything like that, just because we're getting ready to start moving uh, within this month or next month, something like that. Our closing date is uh, the. 30th of April I'm afraid that if I get into continually building something I'm gonna get too damn sidetracked of packing and trying to figure out what I'm gonna do first so builds are kind of paused right now because you know moving to your own house is kind of a big endeavor you know so I want to kind of stay focused on that effort other than you know getting too into building stuff and then all of a sudden I've got all these you know what you know what I'm saying but but there is another build that I have to start working on before we move and my neighbor wants me to build a uh, rear bumper for his truck so I'll probably be starting on that in the next few days but I won't be posting it on T-Man's Go Karts I won't be posting it on this channel I'll be putting it over on uh, the BMR network channel and if you guys haven't already subscribed over there you can if you want to see me do the rear bumper on his truck so I'll be doing that before we actually have to move, and I gotta want to try to fly through that in a few days, so I don't. I'm ugh, getting strangled here. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna get on out of here. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up the video. Comment. You think that's a good place to put that air compressor? Uh, you know, nor normally putting an air compressor like that, people would put it in the back of their truck. You know, in between those two boxes. But I don't think they can do that because I've got this big welder that's back there, and they plan on moving the welder out back, moving the welder out, putting in a diesel uh, gas tank in there. So I guess apparently putting that air compressor up on top of that thing is the best idea they came up with. But I don't think that's a very good idea. <laughs> so I don't know. But anyways, post a comment down in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in a few days, hopefully. All right, bye bye.